Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the Videopreneur, and today we're at Bill Thomas Campers, and we're looking at a 2022 Forest River Ibex 19 MBH. Here's your electrical shutoff. Your battery box will be right by the cables there. You can see the uh, tongue jack, and then the uh, really nice front nose of this RV with a big window. That's over the bedroom, so you'll see that here in a moment as we open up the pass-through storage. Here is your uh, grill or griddle, and that mounts on the side of your RV for cooking. Really nice setup. And as we uh, back away, we get a great three-quarter shot of this RV. You can see the unique door on the back left. We'll get into all of that. Tandem axle, sleeps five, and look at the tread on those tires. You can tell you can go in the back country, get off the grid on this RV and really enjoy yourselves. And here's that door that I mentioned. It is a bunkhouse and this is really unique. You have under bunk storage that you can access from this side. And then you can also access the bunks and the bunks uh, fold up. This bottom bunk will fold up if you need additional storage, which is really a sweet deal. The price on this unit is $42,129. And again, this is offered by Bill Thomas Campers in Wentzville, Missouri. There's a link below for new used service and parts. There's a great look at that tread and a good looking wheel, I might add. But that tread right away tells you that you can go off road, you know, back country, get off the grid and go boondocking and really enjoy your time camping. The hitch weight on this is 465 pounds, gross is 7465 which gives you a cargo of 33.31. As we step up inside there, you can see the 19 MBH badging and really a nice open RV for the uh, size of this. 24 feet, 8 inches, but it's it seems much bigger once you get inside when you uh, spin around and see exactly how it's set up. Plenty of lighting inside, plenty of windows to allow the natural light in. There's the bunk setup that I was showing you from the other side, from the door. And we have this window on the top. And then you have the uh, LED, or you have your USB ports here for charging your devices. And then when you drop down, that's the window from the door. So you can see through there. And then also that's that uh, storage right underneath the bunk that I was showing you. And that bunk does fold up to allow for additional larger items to be stored. As we walk into the bathroom, you can see that you have a nice shower and then you also have this uh, unique setup. It's it's not a tub, shower tub, but it's a deeper shower. So you don't have to worry about water splashing onto the floor. And then you have your medicine cabinet. Your tank capacities are easy to remember, 30, 30, 30. 30 gallons on all fresh gray and black. There is, we will look across, you can see the Murphy bed and we'll get to that in a moment. There is a safe. So that's what I really like about the Ibex. They come equipped with a safe that allows you to put your valuables in there and you know they're secure while you're out and about hiking or kayaking or bike riding or whatever you choose to do. They will be safe. Additional uh, cabinet storage, and then you also have your power setup, your LED light setup. Here is your uh, six cubic foot refrigerator, stainless steel two door unit, and uh, with a generator or or uh, solar with a six cubic uh, foot refrigerator and freezer, you know you'll be able to handle it and go boondocking, and you won't have to worry about a big power drain or draw. Here's your two burner cooktop and your microwave oven that you just saw. Your stainless steel sink. And you have uh, your water heater there as well as a vacuum. You see by that footprint, that's your vacuum. Here's your microwave convection oven microwave that I mentioned. And then also by, uh, I interrupted myself, that footprint there is where you have a vacuum so you can sweep up and sweep it right there to have it vacuumed up. 15,000 BTU AC unit.
So that is the Murphy bed that I just folded down and uh, you fold the couch down to use the Murphy bed. I really like the cabinets, they're backlit. Here's your additional power ports, your USB, and then your backlit cabinet as you see here. Nice deep cabinet for hanging up clothes or whatever you decide to put in there. And then the, having that backlit at night, you can just have those on and it uh, doesn't draw much uh, energy and it lights up your RV nicely. There's uh, great cubbies to put a CPAP machine, an alarm clock, not that anyone uses it, uh, charge your phones. Here's your flat screen TV and it's a 32 inch 12 volt TV and it's 12 volt as I mentioned. That strap there secures the TV so when you're traveling There is uh, storage underneath that um, couch, that jackknife couch. You can enter, uh, access it from the top or else those uh, bungee closures. And again, this is a Murphy bed, just kind of came down. I didn't lock it or secure it properly. What are your thoughts on that? Do you prefer a Murphy bed? Do you uh, Have you ever slept on a Murphy bed? Love to hear your comments below as we uh, turn around and take another look at the unit from the inside. Again, that's the 15,000 BTU unit, eight, uh, 15,000 BTU AC and heat. Thanks again for watching. Greatly appreciate the support.